Hello my over 50s, Ted Greenfield, over 50 and learning to fly and today we are going to answer the question, how do you set up your cameras to get great in-flight video? So rule number one about making videos in airplanes is don't let the cameras become a distraction. You want to set it all up before you even get near a pre-flight inspection, get the cameras set up and then turn them on and forget about it. Don't get distracted by the cameras. So where do you put the cameras to get the best shot? Well, you need two points of view. Number one, you need the pilot point of view. You need that shot of you either talking or you flying. And then you need the second shot, which is what you're looking at. What is out the window? So you just need to start off with two basic points of view. And this right here in the corner works best. It's low, it's out of the way, and have this one do your audio. Now these suction cup mounts um, work really, really well and they can pop off and pop on. Um, and you get these, you could buy a little um, accessory pack on eBay. They aren't expensive at all. Okay, so for that shot that goes through the windshield, this is obviously from the dashboard of the aircraft looking backwards, is um, you want something that, again, it's out of your way that you're not gonna notice but you want something kind of really small. And that's where these little, um, the little session cameras work really well. Um, again, all this stuff can be got purchased on eBay. Um, these, I don't even know if these are in production anymore, but I absolutely love these things because they're just tiny and you set it and forget it. These little mounts are fantastic. It just kind of, the camera just kind of pops in here. You clip it into place and then I put a, I mounted with the um, with some adhesive um, a clip camera mount, and then all you do is just slide it in, and you can't really monitor the shot, but if you just put it over here with maybe a little bit of an extension on it, it gets that shot what you're looking at through the windshield. My favorite piece about this is that if you are done, you're needed out of the way, or if you're talking and you turn the camera off, it just slides back like that. So if you're ready to go, I just put it in there, press go, and I'm off to the races. So the biggest question is, how do you sync it up? And how do you make sure that the cameras are synced up? Because I know that can be really frustrating for people. Well, it's really easy. I know you've all seen it in TV shows and movies where they have the clapper and they have that board and it does this. You're doing the same thing, but all you have to do is clap your hands. You start your camera in the back over here and you start this one and get them rolling and all you do is just slap your hands. When you go to edit, just line up the piece where your hands come together on both cameras and the audio will be synced. So here I am from the back seat now and I have a couple of other mounts right here um, and these are just the same adhesive mounts that I have and they actually work really, really well but if I want to get a different shot from the back and maybe if I'm by myself and I want to get a wider shot, I've just put two adhesive mounts over here. One just a little offset so I can get the control panel and get the dashboard in there. And then one right on the center line um, to get more of a center line shot. These are kind of hard to get because sometimes you don't get a good picture from them. And if you're trying to explain something, you get the backs of people's heads and it might not really be good. But I left them up here and I use them once in a while, but the adhesive mounts work really well because then they're there and all you do is plug it in. So now, how do I get that shot that is on the bottom of the plane that gets that bottom view? Well, it's really easy and this is just a simple adhesive mount that I put in there. I made sure this area was super, super clean before I did, obviously, and I haven't lost this back camera yet. But all you do is just pop it in and tilt the camera down a little bit. You don't want it kind of aiming back at the fuselage or anything like that. Then turn the camera on and get back in your plane and fly. And then it's set it and forget it, but it gets a really nice shot, especially if landing. And it will always tell if you are on the center line or not. Now you have to remember putting one of these mounts here, you have to be prepared to lose the camera. I haven't lost one back up here, but I have lost one from the wing before. So the one thing that's really cool about the Cardinal is it has these uh, retractable uh, tie-down hooks, okay, which are really, really neat. These, this is obviously a 68, so it's getting, getting a little old. But 
This also is an excellent place to mount a camera. So um, for my wing cam, I kind of put one of these things together. It's all GoPro accessories and um, it's all adjustable. So um, it really, you know, it really works well. And this is a nice external mount that I bought for the little session cameras, which are good because you want it in a mount because you don't want any dirt, any water, any debris or anything hitting that camera because you'd be surprised even you're flying out in a beautiful day and that camera's on the end of the wing, that camera will come back dirty and it won't take long to, um, you know, to cloud that, uh, to cloud your lens and you don't want to damage your lens even if you are buying a disposable camera. So these little mounts are really cool. Um, I obviously made these from, from, all the, uh, from all the other accessories, but it has this type of mount on it, which actually screws right onto and mounts perfectly right on that tie down mount. So once it's mounted, it mounts right on that tie down mount, make sure everything's tied down securely and make sure it's kind of firmly in there so you won't get any movement like this. And then it's there and you get these fantastic shots from it. And then when you're done, you just unscrew it and pop it off. Now this actually may be a bit of a modification. And um, I actually had, uh, I went through my mechanic to do this. It was very simple. However, it does affect the airframe. Um, so I was, um, on the wingtip fairing, you have all these screws right along the side here. You can see them there. Well, on one of them, I just put that screw right along through a adhesive mount. And this actually is really super easy. If I wanna get a shot of the plane while it's flying from the end of the wing, I just slide it in and there we have it. These are all my GoPro accessories. And um, I didn't buy it all at once. I started out with a little bit and it kind of grew from there. But you see there's just a ton of contraptions. This is a little bag I put all this stuff in. This is my camera bag. Um, but there's just a ton of contraptions and a ton of stuff that kind of goes along with it. So my best advice to you is start out really simple. Start out with the camera in the corner and then that camera getting the shot through the windshield and just bounce between those two shots. Sync it up using your hands just like that and you just whatever editing software just stop when your hands are like this. Arrange all the clips together and they'll all be right in sync and then keep it simple as you go forward. You want to make sure when you're editing to keep that interesting for the viewer. So you want to make sure that you switch that shot every couple seconds. And if you're showing something like a landing, then you could stay on that one shot that goes through the windshield. Or if you're talking or something, stay on that one shot of yourself. But keep it really simple. Also, as you get more comfortable with operating the cameras, then you can add another camera on the exterior of the plane and do that. But again, number one, fly the plane first. Don't let the cameras be a distraction. So now make videos and share them with me and share them with the whole community. Go to the Facebook page, Over 50 and Learning to Fly and post your videos up on there. I wanna see what you do. And remember, if you're over 50, get up and get in the air. Thanks for watching.